sure that was the only person sent into Sweetwater last week? Well, old Mrs. Tyback sent off a small parcel about a month ago, but... What was his name? Michael Nielsen. Thank you. Well done. Now you can multiply as well as add. My daddy says the only thing a man needs to know about multiplying comes naturally on his wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> and my daddy says the trick to adding is all in your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and my daddy says men lie, but numbers don't. <laughs> Let me explain what I mean. What would you all say if I told you that I can read your minds? You'd be telling a lie. Is that so? Well, let's see. Um, pick a number. Any number from one to a hundred and write it down. Now fold it up and give it to Mary. Now think on that number. Think real hard and add 10 to it. Add another five. Multiply it all by two. And tell me what you got. 40. Your original number was... five. You got it! You did it! You read my mind. No, I lied. See? <laughs> It's called algebra. And X marks the spot. Hi, how are you? Mr. Nielsen. <laughs> Coulter, what the hell are you doing? Well, been longing to see your face on one of these, Hickok. Should have known you'd be in on this. Like a mountain man on a mail order bride. More like a snake on a rock. Oh, this guy's better than you think, Hickok. Can't keep a hold on him. I suppose it wasn't awfully smart of you to start a scene like that when you could have grabbed him. Damn. Never figured you for the bounty hunting type. You leave this one for me. <laughs> Except, uh, you ain't gonna find him now he knows we're around. Besides, I know where he's holed up, and uh, you don't. <laughs> Got yourself a choice, Hickok. I'm getting tired of this one. We take him in together, and I collect the bounty. Or I'm gonna stop trying so damn hard and back shoot him. Poster says you have to bring him in alive to take the bounty. I kill him for the sport of it. Jake, money's too important to you. Yeah? Better for you. Well, just uh, slide it under the door, please. Pan delivery, Mr. Nielsen. All right. Be right with you. Let me put something on. What can I do for you? you can come quietly, Mr. Chase.
for good now, Chase. So it seems. How's it feel? Real good. I'm happy for you. Who's your friend? James Hickok. The James Hickok? <laughs> Terrific. This is great. Where are we going? Walnut Creek. No, I mean now. Sheriff will take care of you for the night. We'll leave in the morning. No, we're leaving now, Hickok. Well, there ain't no way I'm going to spend another night freezing out on the plains. A rugged man, are you? Uh, look, I, I don't suppose it would do any good to convince you that you've got the wrong man, would it? I'm a teacher, that's all. I'm no criminal. Parents trust me with their children. I teach them how to count. Save your breath. I didn't think so. It's good to meet Hickok. You'll be here for him in the morning? Yeah, first thing. Do me a favor and send word to Marshal Steiger that I'll have Chase in Walnut Creek day after tomorrow. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Amazing. Criminal like this just floating around Indigo Wells, right in front of our eyes. Never would have guessed. Imagine that. Well, Chase, we'll see you in the morning, huh? Can't wait, Hickok. The thought of riding with a famous gunfighter like you, it's a dream come true. I hope I get to sleep tonight. So, what now, Hickok? Well, we ought to get a room at the hotel for the night. Sorry, I'm flat broke. Well then, I guess you're sleeping on the floor. Appreciate your help. Steaks, boys. Fine, Chase. Yes, I am a little hungry. Thanks for asking. You can make it through the night without. It's only enough here for the two of us. Besides, feed you well enough at the prison camp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. But um, seeing as how prison camp might be a little further off than any of us can predict, maybe you could see it in your hearts to save me a scrap or two? A plate to lick? <laughs> Sheriff, things are about to turn ugly at the saloon. Dave Tisdale said something about Bill Humphrey's lady. Well, Humphrey's got his gun out. Yeah, come, come. Crazy town you got yourself here, Deputy. Evening. Deputy Marshal James Hickok. I, uh, got my mind on taking my ward out a little earlier than I thought. You, uh, think you can see to that? Are you happy? Not another word out of you, Chase. Come on, Coulter. Are you really happy? I ain't killing you, but you keep this happy crap up. You know I'm... I'm gonna have to do it, don't you? What's that? Slip out on you again? That's why you're so angry, isn't it? <laughs> oh! I thought so. 